Hi there, my name is Amir, and in this Lens Studio tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Face Image Picker template. The Face Image Picker template allows you to easily put faces from your phone's camera roll on any object as a texture. The template comes with a 3D face model that can be easily attached and positioned on a character. To get started, let's open Lens Studio and select the Face Image Picker template to create a new project. The template has example content to help you understand how the template works. First, we need to delete the example content labeled Replace Me in the Object panel, and then delete the Resources labeled Remove Me in the Resources panel. Next, I'm going to import my 3D content into Lens Studio by selecting the Add New button in the Resources panel, and then click Import Files. Navigate to the FBX file and select it. The model will now appear in your object panel. Drag and drop the model to be a child of the face image picker controller object. Next, we need to add a face to our 3D content. The face image picker template comes with the ready to use face mesh with the face image picker functionality as a prefab. This prefab can be found under the face mesh prefab folder in the resources panel. To add the face mesh, I'll drag it from the Resources panel and add it as a child of the Face Image Picker Controller object in the Objects panel. Next, I will position, scale, rotate the Face Mesh object to be aligned with the face of our imported 3D object. If the imported 3D content is animated, we need to set the face mesh object to be child of the head bone to make sure it moves with the animation. Let's start the animation and see how it looks. Find the animation mixer component on your imported model and enable autoplay. Finally, we can turn on the imported model's shadow. Select all the meshes in the objects panel and set their shadow mode to caster. You should now have a word lens with face image picker functionality. In Snapchat, you are able to select the faces from your device's camera roll and see them apply to your custom model. Now we're ready to preview and submit our lens. To do this, click per your device in the top right corner of Lens Studio. Then, open Snapchat and scan the provided snap code. Make sure your device and computer are on the same Wi-Fi network. Once Snapchat and Lens Studio are connected, press the Push Lens to Device button. You can now preview your lens in Snapchat. Before submitting your lens, you need to set your lenses icon and name. Click the Project Info button in the top left corner of Lens Studio. First set the name of your lens, then select an image from your computer to set your lens icon. A lens icon is 320 by 320 square image. The circle lens border of the icon is automatically applied to the square image when you set the icon. Now that you've given your lens an icon and name, you're ready to submit. To submit your lens, click the Submit button also in the top left corner of Lens Studio. There you'll be asked to log in to your Snapchat account, if you haven't already. Once logged in, confirm the submission by pressing Submit. When the lens is live, you'll get an email with snap code and URL for sharing. For more information on submitting and sharing your lens, visit the Submitting and Sharing section of the Lens Studio Guides. Thanks for watching and have fun creating your own face image picker lenses.